Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, I decided today to come to a lake outside of Kiev uh, to shoot uh, a video. I'm gonna have some lunch here. Um, actually, I came to have some lunch and I took the opportunity to make a video. Um, yeah, found a very cool spot. Uh, I walked for about, I reckon, actually I can, two hours, two, about two hours, ten minutes walking. Uh, so I'm outside of Kiev and I'm walking around this this uh, set of lakes, this network of lakes and I came across a very cool place which I'm going to show you in a minute. Looks like some people some uh, people come fishing here and they've made a semi-permanent uh, shelter. So by the way I'm sorry if you cannot hear me well. There is uh, a lot of wind today. Maybe you can hear that. Can't do anything about it yeah so I hope you can hear me well. I'll try to be a bit louder than usual. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you this place uh, that I found and, uh, and then we're going to have some lunch. Yeah. So this is the semi-permanent the semi -permanent shelter I found. As I said, looks like some uh, fishermen stayed here for a while. Maybe they come often, I don't know. I can't see them now, so uh, you must excuse, excuse the wind. I hope you can hear me well. So anyway, let's get a bit closer. So we have the roof has come off a bit on this side. There's no wall on this side. There is a, a table there where I've put my bag. Uh, by the way, that plastic bag, I've put it up to collect my rubbish when I have my lunch. Then we have um, a little bar thing here, area, table, which is a bit dirty. And on this side, I've made a wall with um, branches and leaves and that as you can see I suppose it's to cover it up to camouflage it somehow from that direction which is where, where I came so maybe actually you could see only the roof of course but yeah that's a place I found nice and comfortable for lunch I hope uh, the owners or the people who built it don't come today <laughs> And look, they even made a little bench down there. You can see that it's rather small. And um, that's the lake over there on this side. Let me see if I can get through. They've actually, they've actually built a fishing post, as you can see there. Yeah, you see that? So interesting they've, they've even left a bucket i hope they don't come back yeah that's the lake that's the view that i'm gonna have for my lunch all right that's kiev in the background i don't know if you can see the building that's the uh, buildings that's about uh, two hours walk from here pretty far anyways just for for lunch i'm not gonna stay for the night well okay I'm going to show you what, um, what I've brought for the whole day to eat. Um, brought some black bread. I'm not going to eat all of it, it's too much, but uh, it was nice and packed, so I thought, okay, I'll leave it all packed. But I mean, if I'm hungry, I can have all of it. Then I've brought two packets of uh, noodles. You can see that? Chicken. I mean, today's uh, lunch is going to be cheap. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got these two packets of uh, noodles, which I'm going to have with uh, some tuna, yeah, in the tin. Um, you'll see, you know, uh, what you do is, after you uh, boil the noodles, um, you, uh, you drain the water, and then you add uh, the tuna, because, I mean, water from the noodles and the tuna is not going to be cool. But if you drain the water, then the, everything, the mix will be good. I hope you can hear me well. I mean, the wind, I'm sorry I keep mentioning it, but the wind, I can't do anything. Today's video is going to be uh, full of wind. <laughs> okay, sorry for my bad joke. Okay, so tuna with the noodles, then I have some uh, pate. Uh, according to what it says here, it's French pate. Now, I'm not very keen on uh, French food, but um, I've tried this before and it's really tasty. It's uh, with mushrooms, it's got mushrooms. Hope they're not magic mushrooms. <laughs> well, why not indeed? So, I have the pate. I don't think I'm gonna be eating all, all of it, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm planning on being here 
uh, till late evening, so um, uh, just have just wanted to have enough food. Okay, then I have brought three in one to today. Um, it says here that they're extra strong. We'll see. Brought my nice my nice little cup, metal cup, stainless steel. Then I brought a little um, uh, mess kit. I would say this is part of it. It's uh, aluminium. Uh, now I know that many people don't like it. I'm not sure whether I like it or not, but uh, I cannot afford uh, titanium uh, uh, mess kit or whatever. So bought a new one, aluminium. It's got the handles. Now the handles are plastic. I'm not really happy with that. I think I'm going to have to take them off. Uh, I mean the plastic bits. So uh, for one person, it's a one person kit. Ah, this went. And um, I brought um, uh, tomato! Yay! Now my wife is going to laugh at this because I, I was nagging her all night um, about this. Well, I was joking about, you know, making fun with, uh, with it. Um, so anyway, the tomato. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be eating that also, and um, what else do I have to show you? Well, I got my cutlery set, now these are stainless steel, oh, if I can get them out, stainless steel, knife is really sharp, and it comes in this um, case, it's Miltech, I've had it for more than a year, it works well, I mean how can it not work, yeah? It doesn't have to do anything special. <laughs> okay, got my mold grip for, you know, picking up the, uh, the other mess kit that I use for boiling water. The other mess, mess kit you've seen, so I'm not going to bother you with that. I'm not going to bore you actually with that. Now, um, where I am today, I've been around here uh, a few times and um, I know that there is no wood for fire at all. I mean, this is a place uh, frequented in summer uh, by many people for barbecues. Of course, they, they also leave their rubbish behind, which is disgusting, but it's typical. So anyway, I know that there is uh, no firewood around, so I brought my um, uh, gas stove. You've also seen that. I've got a video where I test it. So I've got that. Then um, I've got my uh, windscreen, which uh, I've also shown you. So I'm not, again, I'm not going to bore you with that. So... Um, Basically, as I mentioned, I also have my Soviet mess kit, but this is going to be only for <clears throat> for making uh, coffee. You see, if I use this for the noodles, then my coffee has noodle taste, and um, I've done that before. Actually, I usually do that. Today, I wanted to try something special. Not special, special for me, something different, I meant. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna try to have uh, coffee with a coffee taste instead of the noodle Especially with the tuna. No <laughs> coffee with tuna. How's that? Eh? So This is it. This is my stuff um, And uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna start cooking my lunch anytime now. Uh, I'll come back when I actually start it. So uh, yeah Nice view, eh? Weather's good. About 20, plus 20 degrees uh, Celsius. 20, 22 maybe. The wind, the wind is uh, not very good for the camera, but for filming, I mean. But yeah. Good day out.
so simple yet very tasty. To you all. Oh, hot, but real good. <coughs> well, guys and girls, you know, I wanted to say a few words. Uh, first of all, um, I want to thank you all, my friends, relatives, uh, subscribers, of course, for for watching my videos. Uh, for supporting for supporting me uh, I, I haven't got many new or well, I didn't get better to say many new subscribers uh, lately but uh, I think that's because I'm not doing um, I'm not filming a lot and that's something else that I wanted to say um, unfortunately due to what's happening in uh, Ukraine I don't feel very comfortable uh, I don't feel very safe leaving my, my family, my wife and daughter, alone. <coughs> While I go far away, you know, for a night or two. So um, that's why I, I haven't been going out much. Um, I've had plenty of uh, holidays these, this summer. But I haven't been out much because, you know, I think it's clear to um, to understand why and that's why I, I have not been filming a lot lately so um, let's hope that the situation comes down and life goes back to normal I mean plenty of people are suffering um, and you know even though uh, I miss going out uh, camping you know uh, but I know that uh, many other people have uh, bigger problems than this uh, due to what's happening in Ukraine. So this is the least of the problems anybody could have. So I'm thankful for that actually. So anyway, today was a, was a good day. It's almost time to, to head back home. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. I've had a good walk good lunch in good company <laughs> and now I'm having a very cool coffee yeah it was a good day so hope to, uh, hope you like the place a bit windy but you know I'm thinking that maybe this could be a good place um, to stay for the night not uh, today of course but Though I don't know if it's far away from the actual city, if it's far enough from the actual city. But with the shelter that I've shown you, you know, that is uh, comfortable. Plus, well, we'll see, we'll see. I might be going next weekend uh, with my friend, Max. Um, but that's not, I mean, for, for an overnighter, but that's not for sure yet. All depends on many things, so I hope that I can safely go next weekend and um, that I can make another video for all of you who are interested um, that's it that's it for today thank you for, for coming along and well, thank you all again very much for, for your support for being there by the way I forgot to mention thank you not only to my friends, subscribers and family uh, but also to my Facebook friends. I have uh, quite a few friends uh, uh, who I only know through Facebook and um, cool people too. So thank you also for your support. Right, enough. I'm bubbling. <laughs> right, to you all, thanks for coming. <laughs>